I think everything comes down to last year and it's very easy to say that guys on this team were disappointed with last year and, and everybody was disappointed. I know I was disappointed, I'm sure all the alumni were disappointed and so that's not our standard. Our standard is not being 8-8, eight and 7-7, eight, seven and seven. our standard is winning national championships and it's hard to get burnt out when you have that drive to get there again. Obviously with the coaching change and adding Kevin uh, to one end and having Dave Metzbauer at the other end, I, you know, it's as good as it gets in a country of, of coordinators. So it's been a relatively smooth transition. We've had great leadership by the players. They've been very dialed in and focused. I like to tell people we're, we're hungrier than we've been in a while. Um, after winning the national championship two years ago, I think we lost a little bit of that edge that we now have back. You know, there's three groups that haven't experienced that. Um, so at the end of the day, the senior leadership has filtered it all the way down through the younger guys of the importance of focusing every day, preparing every day, uh, giving everything they have to prepare for the spring season that's right ahead of us. This team's very reminiscent of my 2016 season. Um, I was a freshman, we were humble, and it was similar. Uh, that's that the year before 2015, that team underperformed on their level, and they came back humble and hungry. And they didn't. They lost two of their best players, their superstars. Um, but it ended up helping them greatly because there was, it wasn't as much individuals, it was more of a team-oriented game. And the players that were lost were some of the best players to come through this program. It's not a knock on them, it just it, it forced other people to step, step in their roles. And similarly, that's what's happening with us. We lost one of the greatest Carolina lacrosse players of all time, and Chris Cloutier, and Austin Bafani, and Luke Goldstock, and Stephen Kelly. Um, so it's pushed people to go roles that they haven't been before and hopefully it'll be similar to that 2016 season where we come together as a unit rather than individuals and uh, come together as a team and hopefully bring them another ship.